am I the a-hole for refusing to give up opportunities that come my way for my sister's sake? My older sister Rita 20F is disabled. My sister's disability comes with a lot of health issues, and while mentally she's capable, physically she cannot do much and struggles even with regular school. She never graduated high school because she got so sick in senior year that it set her way back and she didn't get the grades to graduate. She was offered the chance to repeat, but she said no because she was still really bad afterward. It's something that causes her a lot of distress, and she still cries because she feels like she failed in the worst way. Nobody can convince her differently. She doesn't work, and she doesn't go to school or anything. She's at home and gets taken care of by our parents. I-17 FM still in school and I'm going into my senior year. There have been a lot of discussions about college or what other avenue I could go down. I was given information on this apprenticeship that could be perfect for me and my guidance counselor wanted me to give it consideration over the summer because they take high school graduates. It's exciting. Rita was super upset to hear I had so many options. And not for the first time, my parents expected me to think of her before making decisions. They suggested I focus on looking at community colleges only or not going to college at all and going into retail or a service industry job. They told me I could afford my own place if I were to do that. I didn't get to go to camp because Rita couldn't and they didn't want me to have experiences she couldn't. I wasn't allowed to participate in school plays because Rita couldn't participate in hers. My parents would actually stop my teachers from including me. They refused to sign a permission slip that would have allowed me to enter a competition on behalf of my school because Rita would never get to have an experience like that herself and they didn't feel it was right for me to have it then. The permission slip came in because some travel might be involved if I were to go anywhere. They pulled me out of art classes when I was young because I was doing super well and getting a lot of praise. My parents actually pressured me to ask if I could leave the classes, but they pulled me regardless. Rita would always get upset when I achieved something or got presented with a great opportunity. She'd cry, ask me why I got everything and she got nothing. I felt bad for her but also resentful of the fact she was glad when our parents held me back. This became a fight when the college stuff came up again and my parents saw me looking up the apprenticeship and my parents asked me how I could even think about going and how selfish I would be. They said I should aim for something lower for Rita's sake. Rita heard us argue about it and she said she knows I'm too selfish to give it up for her. I told them I hated them for expecting me to. Rita and my parents said I had no sense of family loyalty at all. Am I the a-hole? Here are the top comments, plus Opie's reply. Not the a-hole, but I'm sorry to say this, this sounds like emotional of Try to talk to someone, maybe at school or a family member. They are forcing you to live your sister's life. But you have your own life, you are your own person. If they cannot see that, you need to leave that house as soon as possible. Try to go low contact for a while as well until they apologize for what they have done. You are not being selfish for having your own life. Your sister is being selfish for denying you one. Your parents are being absolute a-hole for forcing it on you. OP replied, I'll get out once I'm 18. That was always sorta my plan anyway. Get the heck out of there. Grandparents maybe or some other relatives, but you need to get out or they will screw you over worse than they already have. OP replied, I don't have a family member to turn to. 